Welcome back everybody to more American Truck Simulator and if you can tell right here I have got the map back up which I was super excited to see so we're gonna go ahead and take a job since I was already down here in Yuma Arizona you know that's the next longest one because the other one goes to Reading or Reading however you want to say it so we're gonna take this job and it's gonna take us up to Fargo North Dakota and that's another thing. And you remember the last time we were doing long haul and some of these states were not here. Well, now all the states are here. It's, and what I really like is they included some, um, well, the upstate from whereabouts I was. Not really exactly. And uh, it's pretty cool here. I'm kind of sad that uh, for North Carolina, they only have Fayetteville and Raleigh. I was kind of hoping they'd have Charlotte. But hey, what can you do? So, super excited, all of the thing. I'm going to try to do as much of this as I can before another update comes out that makes this mod obsolete again. Uh, you know, just so we can kind of track where we've been. Not necessarily because I'm um, not going to be able to do it later, but because you will, we'll be able to see where we've been as far as the roads go. But we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and take this job, as I said. And... This is my truck. I'm pretty, I can't remember, I'm sorry, it's really early right now for me. If I had shown the Peterbilt free, the new 389 off. But this is it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. So I'm not even in a bother. If I didn't, we'll do another showcase on that. <laughs> it's just like I said, I'm so sorry. Right now I just, it's just crazy, man. And I think for these videos, I'm not gonna do too much commentary for them. Just kind of do those uh, whole just driving scenario things. Let's go ahead and turn off my high beams. And we're going to hit the road. This is a 2100 mile, so this is definitely a long trip. And as you can tell, I have got... You see that little bed over there? It's almost all the way blue, so I'm almost all the way tired. I got that turned on. We got the fatigue on, so we're going to be doing some truck stops as well. I didn't, didn't figure we had traffic, so... So yeah, we need to uh, get some sleep here pretty quick because I just did two trips to make sure all the mods were working right and there was going to be no issues. And plus I had to get the settings right. There was an update with ACS had done and it kind of defaulted back settings. And even, um, this is a heads up, if your truck that you modded, say if it's like an added on truck uh, and some things are missing, you might want to change the priority of the mod. I moved this up to number two in the priority list on the mods just under the coast to coast map. The reason why I did that was because on the back those white lights weren't there, the bottom directional on the cab wasn't there, there was a couple other things like those white lights on the side were kind of missing. This car you're gonna let me over, I don't care what you say. And um, just that stuff was missing and once I changed the priority because I tried to actually go to a shop and reinstall them and it kept crashing the game so I was like there's something wrong here so I changed the priority of my truck which was almost to the bottom and uh, everything came back the way it was supposed to so yeah if you're having any issues with with a certain mod change the priority before you think it um, that it's you know an issue on like you you're in the mod itself I don't know I'm sorry anyway I'm gonna get tongue-tied here so we're just going to go ahead and do this trip, obviously, and, uh, you know, we'll skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be a very long trip. This would be a very long video if I did not do skip aheads. So let's do it. North Dakota bound we are after we get some sleep and gas. Still don't have the um, cops on. Like I said, I would like to be able to go at least five miles over the limit without having to worry about getting a ticket every two seconds so
was that thing at the truck stop or gas station where I was going to park and the truck comes out of nowhere and just rams into the side of the freaking cargo so that did some damage all right this just the AI in this game is absolutely retarded I mean I know it's AI but <laughs> there's a truck in front of you you do not just keep driving but we're fine we uh Fargo. Yeah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just like I don't care about this red light. I 
shades going green, so we're cool. It took a while. Um, I'm pretty sure it took quite a bit of space up on my uh, thing. But anyway, we came all the way here to take us to the rail export. That kind of doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't you just take this to a rail export nearby? Does that make sense, folks? Why would I? What's up, man? How you doing? You know what? This is gonna be good enough. I don't give a shit. Come on, give me good enough. Good enough. Alright, so we are in Fargo, North Dakota. As you can see right there, look at, look at the lights coming through the fender. But anyway, it's no big deal. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. It was a very, very long thing for me. Hopefully it won't be too long in editing. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.